Hello, hello there everyone! This is imap 3 and welcome to the streaming schedule video for the week starting 11, 12, 1, 7. I don't have many other comments than that, so yes, let's get on to the important part, shall we? What's coming up? As you can see, the feature creep for my streams is in full swing once again, and we actually have a full schedule with no random streams. Yes, fun times abound. On Monday at 6pm, we have a Vorion multiplayer. At 8, we are following that up with the Space Engineers multiplayer. And as agreed at the end of the last Space Engineers stream, I have taken the best part of 6-7 hours after the end of that last stream just to get the last of the gravity parts finished. So, the nano factory can be built in this particular one. On Tuesday at 10, we have Avon Colony. If you recall last time I streamed that a few weeks ago, I said I wanted to kind of make a little series of it and go through all of the missions on max difficulty. I wasn't kidding, because the game definitely has not received as much popularity as I would like, though I have no kind of soapbox of my own. So it's just chilling out with a city builder after work. Yay! <laughs> Indeed. Um, Wednesday, we're just going to take a skip. So Thursday at 5, we have XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, and our search for the delicious Advent brand ice cream, which is apparently made from the stuff of reality itself, mixed in with human remains of some description, and chemicals. Can't forget those sweet, sweet chemicals. Followed at 7 p.m. by From the Depths Rail Adventure. I'm contemplating restarting this one again because we've already lost two lives. Either I'll house rule it and say, yeah, I've not lost two lives, we're going to play seriously from here on out. But, I don't know. I'll have to think on that one. Still, it's adventure mode with the focus on railgun technology, which I went overboard with last time. On a Friday at 5pm, we have From the Depths Meta Cruise. Uh, this might or might not be the um episode as people have been trying to call it, because I don't know if I'm going to need to build the UM in this particular episode. For those of you who don't know, the UM is a, well, it's a Marauder, which has been modified and uglified, basically. So, yeah, the problem is it's a 50,000 resource ship, so it's a bit too pricey at the moment. Then lastly, at 7pm on Friday, we will have the voted stream. And that rounds out the plans for this week. So, yes. Moving on. Speaking of the voted stream, here is the current lineup in terms of the votes for the voted stream. Last week, XCOM 2 won by a landslide with 10, so that's been wiped off the top of the list. So here we go. Currently at 6 votes we have Skyrim. At 5 votes we've got FTD which is just generally do anything from the depths. Um, I'm not really counting specific examples slash ideas because everyone who votes for from the depths seems to vote for a different thing. So otherwise it'd be like five or so, well at this point it'd be like seven different versions of from the depths in the votes with one vote each. So yeah, I'm just saying from the depths in general, something from the depths. -y. Duskers is still sitting pretty at four votes. And then as I mentioned in the previous schedule video, there are many, many, many games with three votes. So, yeah. Here's the list of you. Because since it's actually on the top four, I'm actually going to have to go through these darn things. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Um, with three votes for the voted stream, we have Avorian, Fractured Space, Faster Than Light, Kerbal Space Program, Rome Total War 2, Star Trek Online and Star Drive. Yeah, I told you there was a few of those, but those are all at three votes. So, yeah. Okay. Then finally, we have the Show Me vote, which is, um, well, uh, it's it's World of Warships. You guys just want to see me playing with boats, don't you? Admittedly, boats with high explosives, but boats nonetheless. Yeah. 
World of Warships seems to be the only one that's actually been getting any votes for this. Um, except for... Well, I might as well run through them like I did the previous section. Uh, at one vote each, we have five different games. Skyrim, Crossout, Kingdom Wars, RimWorld, and Endless Space 2. So that's the current vote backlog for Show Me. So, yeah. Also, yes, I am aware that I already owe you guys a World of Warships. So, it's, it's just been a case of finding chance to do it more than anything else. But that is still very much on the do list, and I actually have it noted down in my spreadsheet where I record the votes exactly what pending show me things I have waiting to be done. So, now I owe you two World of Warships, I suppose. Mm. Oh, those little boats. I will blow them sky high. <laughs> Maybe. If mine survives the trip. Anyway, finally, of course, we have the closing out comments. If you wish to vote for something in the voted stream or the show me, then you can do it as shown on the screen now. You can vote in the comments of this video, or you can <coughs> excuse me, or you can vote in the Discord channel for the upcoming streams. However, don't discuss in that channel. It's only for votes. If you start discussing in it, then it makes me hard to find those votes and yada yada yada. But you do it by saying stream X game or show me X game. And or, I should say. Because there's no restrictions in terms of how many votes you can cast in a given week. You, as long as you can only cast one per game. So, yes, there we go. And that rounds out my ramble. This has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll catch you all some other time. See you all later.